What's up guys, you're here with Gordon from Pink Dogs and thank you for joining me here for your free picks for Wednesday, uh, April 17th. Uh, another day of the Champions League quarterfinals, second legs, uh, two games of the schedule, Bayern and Arsenal and Manchester City versus Real Madrid. On Tuesday, uh, of the two free picks I gave out for the Tuesday Champions League games, we've hit both of those. Uh, unfortunately, as a Barcelona fan, uh, I was a bit disappointed with the result that they had. They ended up getting knocked out of the Champions League by PSG. Uh, early red card, well, first they got to the scoreboard fairly early, but then a uh, red card for Araujo, and that was basically game over for Barcelona. Later on in, in, in the game, they also conceded a penalty kick, and that was a huge turnover for them as well. Uh, I would say two very stupid defensive decisions by Araujo and Cancelo. I don't know what Araujo was thinking going that close uh, to a player instead of just basically blocking his way towards the goal. And then in the second one, that that, that was, in my opinion, even a worse decision uh, from Cancelo, who went in for a sliding tackle on a player that's going away from the goal at the very edge of the 18-yard box. I don't know, it's just mind-blowing to me, those 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 decisions that players made sometimes. Uh, and uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not even blaming the ref for anything. I think he had actually had a decent game. And uh, all we can do is move on to the El Clasico for this upcoming weekend. Uh, in the second game, Borussia Dortmund was behind 2-1 from the first leg. They got a couple of goals in the first half, uh, basically nullified that advantage. But uh, all of a sudden, Atletico Madrid came back to 2-2 in the second half. And then they basically disappeared off the pitch and conceded two goals in the, in the, in the span of three minutes and uh, ended up losing that game 4-2 and uh, getting knocked out on aggregate 5-4 uh, out of the Champions League. The next uh, matchups are on Wednesday, like I said, and the first semifinal matchup is between Borussia Dortmund and PSG, and that is being played on May 1st, if I'm not mistaken, so stay tuned for that, of course. Stay tuned for those free picks coming up for this weekend and for the Conference League and Europa League on Thursday as well. Uh, for my best bets, click the link in the description that will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, 3-day pass, 7-day pass, or even a month-long pass if that's something you want to do. Uh, if the Tuesday games are any indication, guys, we are in for one more treat in the quarterfinals with these two games on Wednesday. I think it's going to be an exciting day once again. I think we're going to see some great football and hopefully we see a bunch of goals once again. Let's get this show on the road, guys. We have Bayern Munich hosting Arsenal in the second leg of the quarterfinals. The first leg ended in a 2-2 draw. Uh, Bayern was quite solid in that one. However, they are coming into this game without uh, without Davis and Gnabry, who, uh, well, Davis is suspended because of the yellow cards accumulation. Well, Gnabry got injured in that uh, first leg against Arsenal last week. Uh, Kingsley Coman is listed as injured as well. And Lira Sane is listed as questionable, but that doesn't matter that much because they still have Thomas Müller, Musiala, they have Harry Kane, uh, Leon Goretzka will, will probably be uh, that pillar of the midfield. Uh, while Arsenal on the other side, uh, it's actually that time of year for Arsenal when they start slipping up, when they start shooting themselves in the foot. And uh, it's already started. They lost 2-0 to Aston Villa at home and... Uh, that loss will certainly have a huge impact on, the, on, on, on them for this game. And uh, despite Bayern Munich losing Bundesliga this season, they're still Bayern Munich. They're still an outstanding team who, uh, in my opinion, has what it takes to get to the finale of the Champions League. And honestly, I think that they will get a win here. I think that they will knock Arsenal out of the competition. And uh, when playing at home, uh, Bayern hasn't lost to Arsenal in, 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 in any of their last three games. Now, I'm not saying that Arsenal will will give up on this game. I think that they are a solid team still. And uh, I don't think that uh, Bayern can keep him off the scoreboard. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a full swing in this one, guys. I'm going to take Bayern Munich to win and both teams to score at plus 270. Uh, Harry Kane has Arsenal's number. We know that he's one of the best number guys in the world. He played against Arsenal many, many times, scored a bunch of goals scored against them in the first leg as well and i think he will get to the scoreboard in this one so maybe take uh harry kane over one and a half shots on target or maybe even for him to score a goal but uh however i slice this one however i look at this game i simply see Bayern winning uh and i see a bunch of goals so i'm gonna go with Bayern to win and both teams to score at plus 270.
For the second game of the day, the Champions League, Manchester City is hosting Real Madrid. Uh, both teams are playing really well. Uh, Real Madrid hasn't lost in any of their last 14 games. City hasn't lost in any of their last 27 games. And they haven't lost to Real Madrid in any of their last five home games in a row. Uh, in those five games, uh, we have seen uh, both teams scoring uh, in in, in three of those five, we have seen over two and a half hitting in four of those five games. And uh, City has won four of those five as well, while while one game ended in a nil-nil draw. Now, uh, Real Madrid is a very, very solid team. They're coming off of a win against Mallorca, 1-0. But arguably, City had an easier game against Luton Town, 5-1 win at home. Uh, they don't have to travel here while Real Madrid uh, had to travel to Mallorca and now they have to travel back to Manchester uh, to face City. Uh, when we look at the lineups, uh, uh, Tuameni is suspended and that is going to be a huge blow for uh, for Real Madrid because he's been outstanding so far for them on that uh, centre-back position. Uh, Alaba is out and Thibaut Courtois is out as well. As far as Real Madrid goes, everybody's healthy. I see that uh, John Stones is, is listed as questionable, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the lineup. Now, I see that Jack Grealish is listed as... Uh, as a left winger, however, I think that's going to be Jeremy Doku up there. I think that uh, he will wreak havoc on on on, uh, on Real Madrid's defense, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see him getting on the scoreboard. Apart from that, all the other players look quite quite right: uh, Guardiola, Kanji, Ruben Diaz, and Kyle Walker, Ederson on goal, Haaland, De Bruyne, uh, Bernardo Silva, Rodri, and Phil Foden uh, in the starting lineup as well. Uh, I feel like Manchester City is a little bit more consistent right now. And I feel like they will once again dominate the possession quite a lot, which means that they will have a lot of uh, shots. They will have a lot of chances uh, going their way. Now, of course, that absolutely means nothing when you play against Real Madrid, uh, unless you score goals, because Real Madrid is a solid team. Like I said, they can score goals. They have proven that in the first leg. But uh, I simply think that Manchester City can outscore Real Madrid in this game, even though they might not be able to keep them off the scoreboard. So uh, I'm going to go with City to win at over two and a half goals at plus 122. Like I said at the start of the video, if the two games on Tuesday are any indication, we are in for a real treat, guys, with uh, two more great games and a bunch of chances and a bunch of goals. And uh, it's going to be another exciting day of the quarterfinals in the Champions League. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here for your two free picks for Wednesday. Stay tuned for those for those free picks coming up for Thursday. Four games in the Europa League, four games in the Conference League. Uh, and, uh, of course, stay tuned for those free picks coming up for the weekend as well. That's it, guys. Enjoy your day. Good luck with all of your bets. And uh, I'll see you soon with more free picks.